गाइस दिस इज वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड वेलकम बैट एट मास्टर कैम मिल थ्री डी ट्यूटोरियल एंड ट्रेनिंग एक्सरसाइज दिस इज ओवर मास्टर कैम सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज फॉर मास्टर कैम मिल थ्री डी एंड दैट वन वीडियो फॉर पार्ट सेकेंड इन ओवर पार्ट वन वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ वी कैन प्रिपेयर मॉडल फॉर दैट वन कंपोनेंट एज पर द ड्रॉइंग ड्रॉइंग इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गो देयर एंड डाउनलोड and now in this video we discuss about that so for creating a that one part we are going to use mastercam mil 3d pocket tool part so let me show you first in a 2d that how it will be cut so for again creating a new tool part i just delete all this thing yes so let me show you first we have to go in a what is the program number 11 check mark both of these and all these as per, as we are doing in all previous videos and now we go at a stock setup all solids when we are selecting all solid so whole solid area will be automatically convert in a stock model and now press okay so as you can see there is a one outside red dot area it is a solid it is so as that over raw material size now the next one process which we have to do we have to select operation for the machining we go for a pocket when we are selecting a mill 3d pocket tool path it is basically a roughing operation so when we click on a pocket so first what we have to do we have to select the solid part or a area where we have to machine it we can select one by one like that or we can select whole solid in a one click for selecting a whole solid in a one click we have to select here all solid and now press end selection now the next one selection or a next one process which we have to do we have to select the containment containment means give the area where we have to machine it so we, here we have to select the area specific area where we have required to be machining so i already make that one so i select the entity for the containment purpose and now press okay and now okay so the next one process what we have to do we have to select a tool for the selecting a tool we go in library filter and now here we select it 10 mm end mill there are different type of 10 mm end mill so which one end mill we have to select 10 mm and corner radius 1 mm okay here we have to input what is the feed rate for that one and what is the spindle speed here spindle speed is 28 here we can also comment rough by the help of pocket operation now the next one process we have to go in a surface parameter in the master cam mill 3d surface parameter for a pocket operation what we have to do we have to input the clearance height retract height feed plane in the master cam mill 3d for a surface rough pocket tool part in the surface parameter the new thing is coming that is stock tool e1 drive it means the what is the stock size after the machining is still available on the part it is 0.3 so stock will be remaining after machining Point three in a X, Y, and the Z. The next one process that we have to go in a rough parameter. At here rough parameter, first we have to input what is the tolerance. Tolerance size we can input as per the drawing. And what is the step down? Step down means what is the depth of cut value. So here we input what is the depth of cut value. And now here we have to require to input what is the entry option. For a tool entry option, there are different type of options available in a master cam mill 3D pocket operation. But for this one, it is a closed pocket, so we choose entry helix method. Entry helix method is one of the best method for a pocket machining purpose. Now we press. So the next one process, what we have to do, we go have the pocket parameters. At here, pocket parameters, we have to select. There are different type of cutting method. We can select any one of these. but mostly we are using true spiral true spiral is because it is a smooth cutting method and it take less time as compared to any other operation or any other cutting method 
now here we have to input what is the step over step over is normally we as, as we know 60 percent 50 percent to 70 percent so we are choosing here 60 percent and now we press okay so as you can see our master cam automatically detect the whole file whole part and it automatically generated a tool path for that one This is over th cutting in a 3D form that tool will cutting material like in this form. Now I have to increase the speed so it will cutting in a very speed form. So that time is taken 46 minutes approximately.